Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Today the topic is the Model Y charging. I charged the Model Y, I had it for two and a half days and I charged it on a supercharger version 3 and I charged it on Ionity. I filmed both sessions fully but <laughs> at the supercharger my GoPro decided Okay, I will record everything, but only save the first five minutes. But it's okay, lucky for me, because I will show you that first five minutes and it goes up from, I can't remember, 8 to 20% uh, uh, or something. And you can see that except for the first 2% or so, where it really goes up to 245 kilowatts, it then is under 180 and the Ionity charger can do that too. So there's not too much of a difference but um, let's go through uh, two charging sessions that I filmed and then we'll look at the charging curves so let's see how the charging curve it goes up right to 244 kilowatt and then right down and then it's under 200 kilowatt at 9% 100 under 190 at 11 and under 180 at 13 percent and and uh, Ionity will go up to 187 so again it's not a lot of difference and now at 20 percent this is where, where it ended um, we'll look at Ionity then now let's look at the Ionity session and what you will see is that the curve just goes down very gradually. We start at 7% up there, you can see the time, I started at 11.25 at 22 degrees. Uh, peak was 187 but it's already at 170 at 13 percent and then uh, you can see that the charging power goes gradually down. Um, under 150 at 22 percent it's it's good charging it's uh, better than most EVs but it doesn't come close to model 3 or Ionic 5 and we will see that in the curves as well even though I haven't have not have model 3 in my curve list yet especially on a supercharger that would be nice to have that data but I need a um, model 3 to test for that now 45 percent we're already under 100 kilowatt and again, it just I, I've charged to 90%. And like I said, it's a very linear curve. It just goes down and down and down all the way to 90%. And then from 90 to 100, I did that at Supercharger. Again, very slowly going down, I think at 95 or something. It was at 11 kilowatt. So it, it, it's good charging. Um, um, and it's there's no big hump. That where it or, or 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 where it just goes down very fast. So there's not a thing where you can say, okay, charge to 72 percent, then it goes down. Leave, it doesn't happen. You you leave when you want. It's <laughs> gradually going down. It's totally up to you. I mean, we're now at 66 kilowatt at 63 percent. Um, it's it's really just slowly going down. It's totally totally okay but again it doesn't have that charging power that the model 3 has with 245 kilowatt it's staying there for a while and then going down slower than here here that the maximum speed is done very very fast i have charged a model 3 on ionity a few times and it stays at 190 kilowatt because that's the max what ionity can deliver at 400 volt and it stays there just a while and and model y from china does not do that we are almost at 50 kilowatt i think at around 80 percent let's look yeah i was playing around the whole time with the screen and you can see it, uh, it's now 12 so with 35 minutes to 80 percent from the eight percent that i started and 36 minutes 48 kilowatt now and again it goes down and down even more but all in a in a normal manner so there's no big thing that's happening you can leave whenever you want <laughs> that's just how it is it, it's up to you if you need that and and what is the limit for your lowest charging power for long distance traveling and you can see what what uh, range it added to it's it's really okay and then we're uh, from 90 to 100 percent it still says it's around 20 minutes 
Yes, and it also jumps in five minute steps, like in my ID3. I totally didn't know that. And then at a 90%, it stops at around 35 kilowatt. That's still okay. Now let's look at the charging curves. And first here, what we have is the charging power in kilowatt over state of charge. I did the zero here in the beginning is because I started at eight. <laughs> so where do I click? Here we are. Uh, it's uh, 184 and then it just gradually goes down as you can see it's really very linear that's really good um, I'm okay with that let's go to the next one now we are in comparison with other cars I compared model Y to the BMW iX3 Volvo XC40 Volkswagen ID4 Ionic 5 difference peak power iX3 is 156 kilowatt, XC40 152, ID4 max is 126 kilowatt, Ionic 5 232. And you can see it here in the graph. The Model Y is the one here starting with a very good number down here and then gradually going down. Ionic 5 takes a bit to get up to that speed. Um, uh, a few minutes, uh, but no, it is the state of charge. But it goes up here to the 223 kilowatt that I got. But we have seen more, and but it does do those weird jumps. And as you can see, it it goes down at 77 percent. But it's mostly, as you can see, more charging power than any other car that's in there. The green one is the iX3. Uh, the BMW, as you can see, it at 22% charging power is higher than in the Model Y. Um, what's the yellow? Yellow XC40 has a weird jumping curve. And then uh, ID4, as you can see, this is, was done with the ID3 Pro S, but it's the same battery, it's charging the same way. And here you stay at 125, 126 kilowatt, and then it gradually goes down. And then here at 82%, it goes down even more. And now look at the, let's look at the most important graph. This is uh, kilometers of range charged uh, per minute. So uh, I used how many kilowatt hours have been charged and then I used what uh, um, the cars had a consumption in my range test 90 kilometers an hour and I know people said I should take the with 130 because you do that with long distance driving but it's also different countries some people drive 90 some people drive 130 I stay to that I stick to that for now we'll see maybe I change it and again the same cars and as you can see the Volvo XC40 is the lowest because it's charging pretty good but it has very high consumption. The highest is the Ionic 5 consumption is still okay and um, but it charges so amazing and then underneath here you can see this should be the model Y yes it's very good up to 12 minutes after that uh, the Ionic 5 is putting more range into the battery over time and then even the BMW iX3 it's not a very un inefficient car I liked it a lot the, but of course ID4 is under that but ID4 has, has also a very low consumption and still charging with 126 and that very uh, constant and then you see those three those four are pretty close together but Ionic 5 is just the master so as you can see, charging of the Model Y is great, <laughs> but I think a lot of people ex expected the same charging as Model 3, but it's made in China, different battery, and there can always be an update and then it's totally different. We'll see. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.